Hey everyone, Thorn and Smash here, and you might be wondering, why am I dressed up like Wolverine? Well, I actually just wanted to see if my Halloween costume would fit. Turns out, it does. That being said, today we're going to be talking about heirlooms coming into Apex Legends. Most notably, what we can be expecting for Season 23 with the heirloom recolors, also a prestige skin, and some more universal stuff. We're going to go over all of that. We're also going to go ahead and give out 45 bucks. All you got to do is like, comment, subscribe. But without further ado, let's get into today's topic, Bob. So Apex Legends in recent seasons has been changing, like, a lot. And one of the biggest changes, of course, is heirlooms. We've talked about it before, and well, it is now official that Mad Maggie holds the record for the longest heirloom wait before that it was horizon with 958 days and then shortly fuse at 959 days but now it is about 960 days since mad maggie and it doesn't look like we're going to be getting them anytime soon at least it does not appear so as most of us know we are getting the pathfinder prestige skin for the end of the season 22 in the halloween techno terror event and then we're going to be moving on to season 23 however we only know about the prestige skin which is going to be for alter which has to do with the season 23 being cosmic and the whole multiverse collapsing in on itself. I really hope we get the OG Apex mode. At this time, it would make sense with the whole multiversal thing, but they're definitely going in the direction of Alter for that. Also, we do know from a bunch of different sources that, you know, Bloodhound is going to be getting the heirloom recolor. This comes from Oz, Kral, and so many more, and also Ritz King and Yoro Tsuki. They've all found it in the files. It's actually going to be a lava themed, which fits with the world's edge. At least that was the last thing we had heard about it, especially because it was originally supposed to launch with the Rag Army events, but for some reason it never did. And then we got a crypto one that just randomly popped up in the store. The heirlooms have been kind of a mess and all over the place in Apex Legends. Sadly, though, we got some new news about what's probably going to be coming in the third collection event for season 23. And apparently there's going to be that agnostic rambit, another universal one that will have five recolor variants with death boxes. It's going to be available in the mythic shop similar to the guitar it'll be interesting to see if this comes in a collection event or they go ahead and just launch it at the beginning of the season with all the customizable options that would be my hope because i think it's really really about time we get back to old school heirlooms that being said about seven months ago both crawl rendo and hypermiss said that new legend normal heirlooms are put on hold and respawn is focusing on making prestige skins recolors universal heirlooms which you know not everyone is super ecstatic about that being said two months ago they went ahead and a new leak came out that legend specific heirlooms will still be released however it's unknown on when they're actually going to be going back to that the last we heard about a legend specific heirloom because nothing's been found in the files actually comes from voltec titan who let us know a couple of interesting things one an upcoming legend tinkerer is in the controller class mad maggie's heirloom though has an animation in which she uses fuse's arm which she actually blew off in these stories from the outlands in about season nine i believe and he did let us know mad maggie's heirloom is actually next which would line up with the time frame not to mention we got that brand new surf sting heirloom in the game that is going on in the current collection event a lot of people like it it's got some kill tracker and unique functions to it that being said that was actually originally supposed to be newcastle's heirloom but instead of actually giving newcastle a specific heirloom and tied to his lore or his history they just went ahead and made it universal so i kind of wonder if the crambit is the same situation with mad maggie it was supposed to be for her and then they just went ahead and they're going to do a universal release that being said the prestige skins are also dropping off a bit in quality don't get me wrong the pathfinder finisher is dope the dive trail is nothing to write home about and the skin is also nothing to write home about. It's kind of a shame that we are also getting these pumped out more and more instead of legend specific heirlooms along with recolor variants as well for old heirlooms. I don't know why they decided to go ahead and stop legend specific ones. Not to mention, they also need to go back and fix a ton of stuff with the old heirloom or at least the prestige skins such as Cossack, Bangalore, Wraith and Bloodhound all do not have dive trails despite being the first prestige skin sold there was apparently rumors circulating that caustic was going to have venomous snakes bangalore was going to be a rocket with thick smoke wraith with void energy and bloodhound with ravens and this would be the easiest thing for respawn to go ahead and bring back into the game players have wanted this for a very long time they spent the money on the skins and there's no reason that they should not be able to have all the same stuff that the current and new ones have it just feels like respawn slash ea decided to go full focus on the universal heirlooms and said screw you to all the old Old customers that went ahead and spent money on this the exotic shop seems to be the focus that respawn is trying to go ahead and do to compete with other live service games that have heirloom type items in it however at the same time it kind of has lost the charm of what made apex legends heirlooms heirlooms and also you know just kind of makes us as a player base felt not very heard at least that is my interpretation of it that being said we're going to go ahead and go into the community clips now do let me know down below what legend do you actually want to see get an heirloom next and remember to follow me on twitter at thorn and smash so you guys can go ahead and submit your clips and i can go ahead and add them at the end of the video
One way to find out you're the prey. Open the supply bin over here. Uh, they're hitting me. Let me know down below, are you guys excited for some of the heirlooms? Would you rather see original ones come back? Or do you think that the idea of them going ahead and skipping to alter is actually a pretty cool idea? Also, don't forget to check out this video right here where I covered more news on Helldivers 2 on my other second channel. And until next time, everyone, keep slaying in the Outlands. I'll see you out there.